patience in life With every story that I heard Of the burning bliss and I Good morning, YouTubers. This is HB Maverick. We're at the Escondido Cars and Coffee at Kit Carson Park. Lots of project cars here, but also brand new cars. A whole row of Corvettes behind me. We'll take a look at these cars right now. Let's go. It was uh, best I can guess, early uh, early 70s build. It's got 65 Corvette running here throughout, mm -hmm. and. Uh, Guy got it from had it 16 years, only put about 2,000 miles on it. I'm getting about a thousand miles a year. Had it since 2016, and I've done about everything I can without pulling the top or the body off. I got to pull that to get the rest. Started in the rear end, brakes, all the running gear and everything, and then at one point I ended up uh, replacing the heads, you know, and got the bottom and rebuilt the top end and put it back together. I've been through the blower, the blower, it's a B&M 144 which they don't make anymore so I couldn't get all the parts, but I got the parts that I could get for it. I love rebuilding engines, I wish I could have done more of it myself, but um, that's the way it goes sometimes until I'm fully retired. Uh, like I said, it's, it's one of those things where I've got about 6,000 miles worth of test drives. <laughs> you know, come up with something that needs put it together, get it back on the road, because so I didn't get it to leave it parked in the garage. Well, it's a great project. Thanks. Thank you so much. Yeah. Did an intake? Yeah, because they're full. Did a whole exhaust system, cat back exhaust on it, three inch the whole way back. And then recently I took the heater for it and I put it a bypass on it, a metal bypass. So instead of having a hose, it's just a metal piping to keep uh, fluids running through it to keep it cool. Uh, it's lowered a little bit. Not much room in between the wheel and the fender. Not much room. It's lowered a little bit. Uh, and that's all I really did so far to it. Uh, I haven't did much to it. I had it for two years already. It's about two inches. I lowered it. There's not much room. I want to lower it more, but I don't want to scrape anything. <laughs> And the stickers on it, uh, Lowered Empire and the Wickley Boosted one are actually car brands uh, that I am sponsorship with. That's the sponsorship box for Lowered Empire and then I don't have the sponsorship box for Wickley Boosted. This is a 1994 Caterham 7. Uh, British car, it was a kit car, uh, purchased, uh, kit was purchased and assembled in England, came to the United States, uh, 2020, it's got a little four-cylinder uh, European engine in it, the Vauxhall engine, uh, putting out about 240 horsepower, oh, wow. in a car that weighs 1,200 pounds. Do you race it somewhere? I have not. Uh, it has been raced in England, 
uh, on some of the racetracks over there. Uh, the guy that had it before me was in Las Vegas area, and he had it on some of the tracks there in Vegas. But I have not yet had it out on any tracks. It's a fun little toy. Yeah. Not really. Uh, I have ordered parts from England, gotcha. uh, yeah, it's gonna and get there's, there's plenty of suppliers over there. Uh, the Vauxhall engine is still supplied uh, and supported over in uh, England and Europe. So, ow, 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 exhaust. Uh, lifts away. So, there you are. A little fuel injected four cylinder engine. Yeah, the ITB is coming out the hooders for that. Filter's really cool. Yeah. So just a very simple, very basic car, you know. And a five-speed? Yes. Sitting right there, drive shaft right on your leg. Yeah, the transmission ends pretty much like right here. So, you know, you always see photos of these online, but it doesn't really set in until you see them in person how small they are. Some more All here, right. well, including you. the star. Oh, yes, my boo. Thank you so much. I, I, I sliced my hand through the 
Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't have it wired into the key, so I just have a separate little You don't need it any that's and I theft, yeah. Yeah, I'm at a, the battery's in the back. The battery is in the back. Oh yeah, my goodness, that is cool. <laughs> 60, 65 percent of the charge, somewhere in there. Six About miles. eight. Well, let's see. How far is it to my house? I think the way that I went, it's at least eight miles. That's perfect for just getting around town. Yeah. I don't see why you, you drive your Tesla when you have this. You've been holding out on us. <laughs> You just don't want everybody to be jealous and hate you. This is much cooler. Uh, Looks like it was parked up to a tree for a while. Is it pretty fast since it's electric? Honestly, yeah. Up, up until 45 miles There we go. Now. See, that's the money yeah. shot right there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's the money shot. So you can't can't really see the That's motor the whole anymore. engine. No. This used to be the battery tray for the front batteries. Oh, it's also, cool, it has double huh? batteries. And just have six just lead acid double oh, batteries. Four in the back oh, and two I see. Here.
Awesome. Tell us a little bit about this thing. Oh. Yeah, so this thing is a, it's a highly modified Zen car. It was originally sold as a low speed vehicle. Uh, basically, still is. <laughs> it still is. Uh, it basically had a golf cart drivetrain originally. And then the body is uh, it's all plastic, based on a French French micro car. And uh, yeah, powertrain and it's been upgraded. I love the ceiling. Yeah, the seal looked around the. Uh, it's like the, a bathtub. The seat. rag top. And it's. Uh, well, at least it's, it's nicer than your other car. Oh. Yes. And there you go. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's mildly sketchy and. Mild. 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 Just a little. Sure. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So let's go for our next award. Yes. Are we following you or what? That's choose you. Wait, hold on, hold on. Is there, you yes, actually have evidence there, of that? Yes. Oh, I see it. Ah. Oh, yummy. <laughs> there you go. All right. It's a proud moment for you. Yeah. Yeah. Say something about your, your uh, small block Mopar Swamp, X Postal Jeep. <laughs> Nice. There we go. <laughs> That's about right. That is what it is. It's the it's most accurate award, award of the day. <laughs> That's a work of art, bro. No, it's falling apart. The rat. <laughs> Who hot glued this? It's <laughs> good. Oh god. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank, you. Thank you. You should be very proud. Oh god. No, that is. Yeah, so this is the there was actually, show. there was actually kind of a tie between uh, two cars for worst in show. So we're gonna go with uh, the the first one being uh, called used and dirty, and we chose this award because of the number of oil bottles in the back of the car. No, I think you know who you are. Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> An award. I'm so happy. B. It's for the wrong B. reasons, but uh, hey, I mean, two hundred. All the right reasons, if you ask me. Two hundred seven quarts in the seven. <laughs> I need to do an oil, an oil change, all right? <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. Uh, stock Celica, 1.8 liter, 288,000 miles on the clock, and she's gonna die soon. Oh, I like that. <laughs> but, uh, it's, oil, it's not dying. Yeah. Oh, but she, uh, 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 now a new issue she has, upon acceleration, she'll go <laughs> So now she's getting ready to uh, it's just a Yes, Maybe, but yeah, so uh, hopefully I win Features. next year. Features, Ricky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Adjustable headlights the from really, outside. Really secure battery tie down. Yep, yep. Ooh. Modular battery tie down. It's not even a bungee cord anymore. <laughs> it doesn't bungee anymore. I like the color under the missing it. emblem. Uh, That's pretty good, too. It's yeah. a whole different That's color. Oh, two missing lugs on this side. So she's definitely. Oh, uh, that's your sticker. Shitbox sticker. Yeah! yeah. Alright, the next person. Well, <laughs> yeah, say something about, about your car. It it's drives crazy. to Texas. Yeah! Oh. Wow! <laughs> That's something. It drives better than it looks. Those gauges. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's rubbing yeah, the yeah, rubber yeah, around yeah, the side. It's a Wi Fi. It's a Wi Fi. It's a whole whole car. It's a hot spot. Straight. It has to be that curve for the drive straight. <laughs> <laughs> Don't die when it shakes <laughs> more slow down because the tie rod ends up trying to get out. Yeah. Hey! Thank you for joining us for the Escondido Cars and Coffee. We had a great time at the car show. We saw a lot of old friends. We met some new friends. We saw a lot of project cars. Some of these project cars have been worked on for a few days. Others have been for several years. We saw three EVs, electrical vehicle cars, including two kits, two project cars. We saw a nice Tesla with hydraulics in it. And you can see the rest of them. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't, like this video, and we will see you on the next adventure. We need to know there are goodies over here. <laughs>
Project HB Maverick. HB Maverick at work. Let's go.